In this video, we're going to be talking about how to install any of the news scripts or any of the news software, whether it's the CBC News, the Fox News, the NPR News, or even the sports news. For this example, I'm just going to use the NPR because they all are set up the exactly the same way. All right. So when you when you download it, you're going to have a file that looks similar to this. It'll be the name of whichever one you purchased. Um, in Windows, Windows has an extractor already built in. If it doesn't, you can download other extraction programs. But generally, you should be able to right click on the zip file and look for the word extract all or extract files in this case. When it comes up, just select OK. And it's going to create a folder. And in that folder is the installation file. The installation for all of them are pretty much all the same. Okay. Also, you may get what is known as a false positive. I'm working on that. I'm submitting the um, software to different virus companies so that they can examine it and put it on their list that is that does not have a virus. Um, all right. So we're on the next page of the setup. And all you're going to do is follow this whole process put in your name your email and the activation key that you have most of these activation keys will allow you to install this on um, two computers okay so you're going to follow that all right so we're going to go ahead and fill this out and i'm going to I've already copied my key. I'm going to paste it in there and hit next. It's going to go to the licensing um, to activate the software. And then we're going to go through the, you can read through this. Um, it tells you the agreement. And then right here, this is where you, if you want to put it like on a USB drive or another drive, you will just click browse and go to the drive you want to put it on. But we're going to leave it at the default, which is the best place, the C drive. Um, the C drive will depend on what your system drive is. Some people, their system drive is on the A. Some people is on the D. So it just depends. But you can point it to wherever you want it to go. All right. All right. Once it's finished installing, of course, um, you can leave this checked if you want to look at the install video, the video you're looking at now. We don't want to do that for now. And so we're going to hit finish. Okay, so now I can go to the C drive and you're going to see the folder NPR News Downloader. All of these will have uh, similar files. You will have the file that runs, a playback folder, PAL scripts um, for those of you that use SAM Broadcaster. So I'm going to playback folder. There is a file already in there, but I'm going to delete it. Okay. To get this started, I'm going to run this manually. So to run it manually, you just double click on that download NPR news um, .exe file. You're not going to see anything pop up on the screen. So I'm going to go into playback. There should be a new file in there. Okay. If I right click on that file and go to properties, it's going to show you the date and the time that this file was um modified okay which was just now you can play the file i don't know if you're going to be able to hear this all right see if you can hear this live from npr news i'm corva coleman president trump has signed an order requiring the nation's meat production facilities to keep running some have shut down because thousands of workers are infected with the coronavirus Trump has invoked the Defense Production Act to make sure the meat plants are producing. Luke. All right. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear that. All right. So now that we have the file that we need, the next thing we need to do is how we get it into the systems that we're running. All right. Let me see. All right. So for those of you that use Radio DJ, we're going to. Um, run radio DJ. I'm going to show you how I do this. 
First of all, you need a category for radio DJ for the news. So I'm going to go to my options and I'm going to go to categories and that should be a, a, a news right there. You can name this if you want to. If I want to call this NPR, I can, because maybe I want to run more than one. Okay. So you create a category first. Now I can import that file into that category. So I'm going to click Let me slow down because I'm so used to going fast. I'm going to click on import track. You can get that from options or you can get it from the track manager. Uh, from the track manager, there's the import file right here on the bottom of the track manager. So I'm going to click that. And then at the top left of the page that comes up, I'm going to click on the plus sign. And I'm going to go over to where I installed the software. And I'm going to go to that playback folder and I'm going to select that file. That's the reason why we must run it first. And Radio DJ, we want to select the category to be news. This is where I wanted to, this is where I want to import this file into. And since I've made a category called NPR hourly news, that's what I want to do. Um, it's okay. I'm going to leave the track type as music. I'm not worried about the genre. Also un, under details, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and change that. The title, I'll call it hourly. Hourly news and for the album. Okay. And so now that I've set the metadata, now I'm getting ready to import this. All right. So now if I go up here to the news category, and I go to my NPR news, I should see the hourly news there. Okay. How do I schedule that? Let's go to the scheduler. Now that everything is in place, I'm going to click on the schedule bar down here, or you can go to options and events. Okay. I'm going to click the plus green sign to create an event, give it a name. Determine how often you want it to run. I'm just going to set date and hour set. Um, if you use day and hour, the hours are not set here. They're actually set here. That's what these check boxes are for. Also, uh, it's 40, 48 after. So I'm going to set this for, let me get it in there first. I'm going to set the minutes as to when I want this to run. But in my actions, what I want to do is I want to load a track from the category, go back to my news, select the hourly news, NPR hourly news, because that's what we're doing. And I don't have to mess with any of the other stuff. I'm going to add that action. It's set to go to the top of the queue. You can change it to the bottom. I don't recommend that. Set it to the top of the queue and add that action. All right. So it's 48 after. And so I'm going to do 49 and 30. So right now, this will run every hour at 49 minutes and 30 seconds after the hour. All right. Now, as you can see, it's flashing. Because in 17 seconds, it's going to add it to the top of the queue. Now, I'm not running. Okay. And so this is going to add it to the top of the queue. It's not going to immediately play it. Um, whatever's playing has to finish playing first. All right. So boom, there you see it. It is now at the top of the queue ready to be played. What if I wanted to play right away? What if I wanted to play as soon as the news loads up? And this is in radio DJ. You can go to that news. If you can't find it, um, you can uncheck this view by hour and then show you all the events. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to add another command after this action. I'm going to add another action. That action is going to be called play. All right. So over here, start playing under the playback section, start playing. So I'm going to add that action. 
All right. So now this will play after the news loads up. So it is 50 after I'm going to do 50 and 40 because it's getting close. All right. And let's uh, go ahead and get something playing. You can't hear it. Well, not you guys. Let's get another one. All right. So this song is playing. And as you can see, <laughs> uh, because of the, 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 I put the time so close, as you can see, as soon as the news was put into the queue, it started playing. It will fade that song down. Some people don't like that, but that's how you get it. If you want the news to be dead on, on the time that you set. Now, if you use Sam Broadcaster, I already have a video on doing the news in Sam Broadcaster. You will see the link below this video. If you are on my website, you will see a link on how to do the PAL script to do the news um, in Sam Broadcaster. This setup is the same for all of the news scripts. All right. So now that we know how to do that, there's one other function you need to do, and that is scheduling the news to update itself automatically. So I'm going to go down here into Windows and I'm going to search for task. And what I want is the task scheduler. OK. So this is the task scheduler. I'm going to it's already on the library. So I'm going to go over here and create a task. Do not do a basic task. Just do a create task. I'm going to call it. Because all this does is download. This doesn't run the news. It just downloads. So I'm going to say download NPR news. Because that's all this software does is just downloads it. Check all four boxes at the bottom. Select your operating system. Now go to the trigger tab. Um, then click on new trigger. We want this to happen every day. Okay. And the time we want to happen. I'm going to say that you download the news. I think a good time to download most of these news is around 30 minutes after. Okay. But then down here, we're going to say we want to repeat this task every hour indefinitely forever. Okay. So it's doing it every day. 30 after the hour, you want to be precise. 30 minutes after the hour, every hour, indefinitely. That's the trigger. What do we want to do? Now we're going to click on the actions tab, click new. And we're going to browse over to that NPR news folder. And we're going to select the download NPR news.exe. OK. At this point, you can hit OK and be done. I like to put the folder location. In where it says start in it, that is very optional. I like to put it in there. Sometimes it works better. As you notice, there are no quotes in this section. However, you got double quotes up here. At the end and at the very beginning. Hit OK and OK. And now the news will run every hour, 30 minutes after the hour. Let's test this. I'm going to delete this. But instead of me doing it manually, we're going to do it from this task scheduler to make sure this task scheduler works. So we're going to look for download NPR news. Here it is. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say run. Or I do. Let me move this so you can see. And we should see that file pop up in the folder. Within a minute or two. There it is. OK, so that's how you know the task scheduler is running or it, that it works. I hope this has helped. Again, this works for all of the news software and the sports software. 